how are you guys doing? It's very bright outside today and we are in the garden next to the pool because we're going to kick today off with a little bit of an outdoor workout and swimming session. But I also wanted to update you guys on uh, the Seb Delaney logos, ideas and music emails we gave you in a few vlogs ago and to let you know that we have been checking them we've been checking a bunch of the ideas we're going to be hopefully bringing some of them to life and a few logos we may have contacted you if you sent a logo back we contacted quite a few people who sent logos um, to move forward and potentially work towards the ideal logo that we're looking for as well as with music we've contacted some people back with some music uh, to put their songs into the videos but all of the emails will be down below there's said the Lenny logo said the Lenny music and said the Lenny idea you can send emails to those if you have a logo music or idea that you want to send us anyways apart from that I also want to send you one quick update which is about Streetgasm 2000 a rally which we're going to be going on as of next week which we're super excited about and we're basically going to be daily vlogging so that's going to be very very exciting and now Good workout. That was exhausting. How was it? It was good actually, doing like more of a natural workout than sort of weights and stuff. But man, it is absolutely boiling. So, there's only one thing to do in uh, times like these, just jump in the pool. Wow! Trying to jump off the top of the railing. It's not easy to. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna have to like dive almost. Actually, really doesn't look that scary on camera, but in real life, from up there, it must be terrifying. Okay, ready? Yeah, that was good. That was pretty good fun. Good way to start the day. Nice and fresh. Uh, if you want to see more 
we did like a bunch of behind the scenes. So this is my Instagram, that's Ao's Instagram. And we basically use our Insta stories as behind the scenes. So we're doing a lot of like different funky angles and stuff of all the jumping. So make sure to check out our stories and follow us on Instagram if you don't already. Thank you, Amucho. This is the main theme of today's video because a lot of you have been asking for a video about a bike. I really do not know much about bikes. I've only ever done one bike video and that's when I went to pick up TJ's bike. But this is your bike, Ayo, yes. to the meme. And um, yeah, I really I don't want to know much about it. So you're going to try and teach me. If I tell you what I know about this yeah. bike, then we can kind of do a review type thing because there have been lots of questions asking for a bike review and a bike video. So I guess this is kind of like our first bike video. Exactly. But clearly, Harley Davidson, which I know is one of like the nice biggest one. names, right, yes, in, yes. in motorbiking. Indeed. Um, it's a cafe racer. Yes, nice. Because you told me that, yeah. This is actually hard to it's tell. It's 850 something cc. It's technically 883. 883. Yeah. Okay. That's the, um, the model. Okay. And then what else do what else could I tell? I mean, it's got two wheels. Nice. It's got an exhaust. You should know about exhaust. Ex yeah, it sounds really good. Mm. I know that it sounds like deep and and sort of yeah. It's not that fast. Is no, it? no, not that fast. And which is why you potentially considering getting a new bike. Potentially, yes. Because it's really it's cool, but it's not like it's. Would it be the equivalent of like? an old classic kind of like car like it looks yeah, really cool yeah, sounds yeah. really cool but in terms yeah. of actual performance it's, it's exactly the same thing yeah. and is it reliable it is very yeah never had an issue with it it just how old is it well it's now three and a half three and a half years old yeah can i sit on it yeah sure but don't, don't burn yourself but it should be fine this is cool yeah you're it's like a, pretty like yeah it's a nice position it's pretty aggressive compared yeah, to the... Actually. And you have no wind deflector or anything. No, no, you don't need it. For the speed you're going, it, it's okay. What's Plus, the top speed? Well, the top speed technically is 160 kilometers an hour. Kilometers an hour, okay. But, uh, yeah. Like, but realistically, it's more it's like... It's more what? like 100, 110. Yeah, but it's practical for getting through traffic and stuff. Yeah, for the traffic, it's perfect. The, se the center of gravity is very low. Super easy to stay uh, balanced yeah. when you... What does pass. this do? This is the re rear brake. Oh, that's the rear brake? Yeah, that's the rear brake, that's the front brake. And then this is the clutch? This is the clutch. And then over here is where you change gear? Exact. Correct? Yes, with your foot. Five, so, five to go gears. down is to go down? Or is it to go so up? So you go down for the first one. Yeah. And then you go up for the two, okay. three, four, five. And then when you go down... And then you when, you, when you go down, it goes like five, four, three, two. And is it easy? Yeah, I mean, it's you just don't even think about it, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something you just, like a car, you just don't yeah, even think about it. Yeah, once you're used to it. And is it comfortable? Uh, it's it's pretty comfortable. The seat I changed the seat's it. It's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. I changed this the seat to make it look a little more cafe racer. It's it's much more comfortable than the stock seat. Okay. But overall, yeah. But you still need to be a little tall for this bike because if you grab the handles, yeah, you see that you're really yeah you're really stretching towards over. it. Yeah. But because I'm a little taller, it's not that you much of a stretch. Sort of like ride like that. Yeah, yeah. Else your bike, your back would get pretty painful. And that, is this? So what have you done to it? Uh, so that stock. basically, for all the people wondering. The main things I changed are these, um, the handlebars, yeah, and my then phone, the seats. My bad. Yeah, what's happening with this? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let me just check. Is it an emer? No, it's it's Archie. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Archie. Archie talking about yeah. birds again. Yeah, talking about girls probably. <laughs> okay, so no, wait, so yeah. you change these. So handlebars, because the stock ones are actually they they end up they go high up here, then it oh, changes I the whole position like that. exactly oh, okay, cool. so that brought everything down yeah and then i changed of course the seat which makes it more like a cafe racer with a kind of bubble here even though yeah. it's not a bubble yeah okay yeah uh, can you have two people on this yeah you can Legally. i added i added some pegs here additional oh, yeah. pegs yeah so you can just uh add another person yeah third change was the exhaust i love this exhaust. oh you changed the exhaust yeah yeah, yeah. okay because the stock exhaust doesn't really have any sound to it okay and yeah. so i changed the stock and i, I took out the I don't know how you call it in English. There's the a little cat. silencer. Silencer. I don't know if you can the, say. the cat. The cat. The cat. I yes, I took the cat out. The exhaust. And then the air filter actually here, because normally it's a closed air filter. Air filter. Ugh. Nice air, one. Filter. air filter. Yeah, yeah. You don't see all this, so that means, for example, when it rains, I can't have too much water come into here, because oh, otherwise. Really? It can get in the in injection and it's not a, and it's not not a good ideal. thing. No. So if it rains, do you not really use the bike? Well, I can because you have a little cover that comes with the exhaust, with the, um, with the air filter. filter. But uh, okay. yeah, you just cover it up and it's done. And because these are quite cheap to run, right? Like what's a full tank on this? 
a full tank, probably like 15 to 20 euros. No. Yeah. It's not and thing. how long does it last? Well, because this is a little tuned, let's say. Yeah. It would last maybe in terms. I'm not sure in terms of kilometers, but maybe. How often? A hundred, hundred fifty kilometers. So it's not that much as well. Yeah. So you fill it up once a week or something. About once a week, yeah. Okay. It would still. I mean, that's not bad. But the still. tires and stuff. Do you have to change I, them a lot. I did change the tires. So these are not stock. These are a little more old school. Okay. And uh, they're actually very weird to to drive, but pretty fun. And are they expensive? No, no. These were about a uh, hundred fifty for both. So that for was both? that was fine. Yeah, for both. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so biking's, biking's Biking, a lot cheaper. It's, it's a lot cheaper, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because these are not like high performance, so that's why. You're learning with me, guys. Oh, unless exactly. you know everything about bikes, then I must just come across as an idiot. <laughs> but I've, I've never really looked into this. And so wait, the mirrors being down there, is that normal? Because they're upside down. The so right yeah, is upside down. Basically, yeah, those are stock mirrors. But instead of being up here... You put I, them down there. Yeah, you just invert them. And that's legal? That's legal, yeah, for sure. I once got stopped by a cop. He, he was like, he was very, he right. was very proud of himself. He was like, sir, you don't have any mirrors. That's going to be a problem. I'm like, sir, just look down here. <laughs> I got yeah, my mirrors. Are. Yeah, because I was always wondering where your mirrors were when I followed you. Yeah, yeah. But okay. it's actually not too hard to see behind. You can, you can still change the angle and everything. So that makes it fine. It's definitely one pretty beautiful bike. Yep. Also, the, the little, for the people wondering, technical speaking, this here, the, the gauge, it technically goes up. So it sticks out. And this is a kit you can buy. To make it a little flatter, flush with all the all the bikes, oh, so, so that it doesn't. Oh, you changed completely. Yeah. Also here, there's a little light system, and then I also changed. Oh, does this tell you when to change gear? So it tells you on the screen here, and then these are the lights tell you telling you if you're, you're neutral, if there's an issue. So there's like green, red, oh, uh, whatever. Cool. cool. And then here you can have a uh, the speed you're going, the yeah. number of kilometers you're going, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you've got. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, but that's basically the main changes. It's pretty badass. Yeah. I like it a lot. Me too. Let's start it up. You ready? Yep. So for those wondering technical things, this bike doesn't have a key. So the key is um, basically this little box. Yeah, it makes that little noise, that little shlink yeah, every time. Does. Yeah. And so you don't need to put a key physically inside. You just keep it in your pocket when you're next to the bike. It'll it'll detect the key and. So it's like keyless go. Exactly. Very practical. Sounds good.
first bike video, it's hard to do sort of on board stuff because of the noise, but I can't even describe to you how hot it is out here. It is absolutely boiling. So we're going to head home and uh, back to the pool. What a day. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Oh, bye bye. Hey, Quick cat saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet.